Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. On this video today, I would like to make another helpful video about vacuum cleaners. And this time, this one is going to be about like which vacuums work better. Like the ones like with just su straight suction power alone and ones that have brush rollers on them. Now, we all know that a vacuum cleaner such as like this shark I have, we all know that they have brush rollers that spin when you operate the machine. And that's what the vacuum uses to sweep up the dirt and all the debris that's in your carpet. And, but some people don't realize though that, you know, sometimes, you know, the brush roller could be too strong for certain carpet materials, such as like a bathroom rug, like this one I have right over here. This is my bathroom rug and I pulled out of the bathroom. Because I'm going to do a demonstration on what happens when you um, run a vacuum with a brush roll on it. Now, it's, now, don't be alarmed because this vacuum has a safety feature on it that turns off the brush roll automatically if something got caught. So, let me show you what happens. Well, not exactly as I expected, because I was expecting it to actually, the rug to get caught in the brush roller in order to show people how strong it could actually be for something, you know, for a vacuum cleaner with a brush roller spinning. Now, this can happen with any vacuum that's got a brush roller, whether it's a newer vacuum or an older vacuum. It doesn't matter because they can be just strong enough to pick up all these rugs. Now, but with rugs like this... So like, um, so like, say like this vacuum, you know, was on again, but this time the rug got caught and this can cause the brush roller to get stuck and it can cause the belt to burn. The belt is what makes the brush roller spin on the vacuum and the motor. But since I have, but this, I mean, but since this one has a brush roll indicator, which for some reason didn't turn on. Well, especially because I didn't get anything caught in there. Now, but this did pick up the rug, clean up the rug really well, though. But, but keep in mind, though, that vacuums are more for, like, big rugs, such as, like, this one in my treasure room. Because it's too heavy for the vacuum to, like, you know, pick up and, you know, jam its brush roller. Now, for another example, too... Um, I also have one of my vintage Regina vacuums, which is a stick vacuum, and this one does have a brush on it, but this brush doesn't actually spin, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, like, when I flip this over, hold on one sec, there we go, alright, so, so if I... So if you look over here, there's little bristles right here. Now this vacuum is called a straight suction cleaner, which means that this vacuum cleaner is designed with just suction only and no rotating brush roller. And with this, these don't pick up as good as ones with brush rollers on them because the brush roller, you know, spins rapidly and you know beats the carpet to knock the dirt or dust out. Oh, uh, your carpet while the debris gets sucked in. These vacuums still can pick up pretty good on carpet, but they mostly pick up things better on, like, hard floors or really low carpets. But, like, thick carpets? No. They still can leave a lot of debris left, which is not good, especially because it can be bad for your carpet and not good for your allergies and all that or the air in your home and all that. So... But even vacuums like these could be just fine 
for bathroom rugs or something like that. But make sure that their suction isn't too strong, though. Like, if your vacuum has suction control, try to set it to, like, maybe the lowest setting or so. If you're cleaning bathroom rugs, like I did with my shark vacuum on that bathroom rug I just showed you a little moment ago. So, and another thing, straight suction vacuums are more... They can pretty much pick up any debris, just like a shark navigator can, but... They only clean best when they're, like, on hard floors, though. Because hard floors, you don't need a brush roller to, in order to sweep up the debris because it just directly sucks it up without a brush roller. And with this one, too, you also don't have to worry about a brush roller getting caught and, you know, from a rug or any material that gets stuck in the rotating brush roller. But another thing you should be aware of, though, is that be careful not to get something stuck in the in the hole right here, because this is where the suction comes, and, and it'll clog the machine if it gets stuck in there. So, like, if my bathroom rug, like, if the suction was too strong, this could actually get pulled into the inside of the machine and get stuck, and it'll make the vacuum work even harder which can overheat the motor so if you want to like clean your bathroom rugs you're better off either just putting them in the washing machine or just use a vacuum with low suction power if it's a straight suction powered vacuum that is but vacuums like my shark vacuum because it's got a rotating brush don't try it because you don't want to break the machine and because those vacuums are more for like, you know, picking up, you know, debris in like thick carpet or hard floors. But make sure your brush roller is turned off, though, if your vacuum comes with a feature that turns off the brush roller, that is. <laughs> and, you know, because like, suction alone is not enough to pick up debris out of your carpet. And you also got to be careful, like how light or heavy your carpet is. So like a bathroom rug is a lug, I mean, sorry, light type of rug. A light rug like this can easily get pulled by vacuums with rotating brush rollers, whether they're new or brand new, and it'll break your vacuum's belt and you don't want to do that. So always remember to use like a straight suction vacuum cleaner, or at least use your attachments on your vacuum. Cause if they just have suction alone and no rotating parts, then you should be fine, and your vacuum won't break. And you won't even ruin your rug, too, because some of these rugs can even have strings coming out of them. Probably depends on how they're made, too, I suppose. <laughs> well, I hope that this video was very helpful, and if anyone has any questions about this, please feel free to ask me any questions at all on my YouTube channel. And... Please be polite with your comments as usual, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.